Welcome back everybody, thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be looking at a knife from CRKT that has dual purposes. This is the CRKT Bevedge. And as always guys, if at the ending of the video you feel like purchasing a BevEdge, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Alright, let's roll in our size comparisons. Here is a Sharpie knife, and you can tell this is on the smaller side of EDC knives. Let's get a look at it with the blade open. Alright. Take it sideways. Let's have a closer look measurement-wise. So here it is closed. Just about three and a half inches. Closed. Open. Right around six inches open. All right, let's have a look at the thickness of the spine here. And that right there, well, here's one quarter. Let's try two. Maybe about two and a half there. Let's have a look at the tip. Ooh, tip is pretty chunky. Wow, that's pretty much the same thickness all the way down to the tip. Well, oh, maybe the tip, the very tippity tip tip. Here is a dime. But yeah, pretty much strong tip all the way down to the ending. About the same thickness. Alright, let's have a look at the thickness up here. Very thin. Again, a pair of chopsticks, thin side, thick side. Here is the thick side. Way thicker. Probably more on the lines of the thinner side. Okay, yeah, there we go. More on that measurement here. Let's go this way. Okay. Ruler-wise, you can see here that it's... Uh, here, let's flip it the right way around. About the same thickness. It's a ruler. If you want a measurement this way, there's a look at it that way. About an inch. Inch and a quarter that way. All right. Weight reference. Deck of cards coming in at 3.4 ounces. The Bevedge. Ooh, a little chunker there, 3.7 ounces. All right, so we have a dual threat knife here for a few different reasons. So you can open this up either with the flipper action lever up here. You can see that there's some jimping on there. Flies right open. Of course, it's opening on CRKT's IKBS bearing system. So that's one way of opening it. And of course, you have your thumb hole there where you just rotate it around this way. Also a dual threat because you have a blade up front and on the back end... You have a bottle opener. Yeah. All right. Up front, we got a Tonto blade shape. So we got an edge all the way around. Black stone wash finish. This is a hollow grind. So you can see a small concave in here. It's going to be an excellent slicer. Steel that's being used is 8CR 13 MOV. So 0.8% carbon. Very hard. 13% chromium, so it's not going to be the best corrosion resistance, but honestly, you're just going to be sticking this in boxes and things like that. And with this black stone wash finish, it's going to help with the corrosion resistance. And I don't know about you guys, but there's something that's really tactical and sinister about a Tonto blade shape, especially with the squinty-eyed thumb hole. And with the thickness being that thick from the base all the way to the tip, it's going to be great for penetrating and prying things. Handle construction. All stainless steel, black hardware, coarse torque screws. You can take this down, take it apart, maintain it, clean it, lubricate it. There's another close look at the bottle opener. Alright, this is a frame lock. So again, the arm will swing underneath the blade to lock it in. Very thick arm. It'll be very secure. Of course, you don't want to use it for anything crazy, but a nice thick support for the blade to lock under. Grip-wise, because this is on the smaller side, folks with larger hands are going to have a little bit of an issue getting that pinky on there. You might want to put a lanyard on there so you get a little bit more real estate to grip onto. But that's what it looks like in my hands. Again, the lever for the flipper acts as a stop. And you have a little sharpening choil. I'll consider that a sharpening choil so you can sharpen all the way down to the ending of the edge here. And the ball opener, of course, is acting as the backspacer. I like the fact that it's rounded back here. I don't like it when backspaces are pointy. 
Here's a look at the clip here. Again, skeletonized. I like it because they can put the torque screws inside the handle so that it's not taking up space on the sides. Decent sized clip. This is reversible, so you can carry it right or left handed. Tip up carry. Let's have a look at what this is going to look like in the pocket here. Oh, yeah, that thing, it just disappears. That is a deep carry pocket clip. All right, guys, once again, this has been the Bev Edge by CRKT. Two ways to open the flipper design. Of course, the flipper here at the top and a thumb hole up here. Tonto blade design. Of course, you got the bottle opener in the back. Remember, if you want to purchase the Bev Edge from CRKT, make sure you check out the link in the description below. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you.